What did you do that for? Well, I couldn't let you drown. Why not? What's it to you? But I mean, you could have... Why do people always have to mix in other people's business? If you want to live, they won't let you. If you want to die, they won't let you either. Well, what do you want from me? Do you want me to throw you back? <laughs> it could have been over by now. Well, help me, if it wasn't against the law, I'd do it. Go on, jump. I won't even turn around. How about having your fortune told, huh? How about having your fortune told? Young lady, how about it? Huh? No, thanks. I know everything about myself. How do you know you know everything? It's just half a soul day. Come on, step right in. You don't believe, huh? You'd be surprised. Show me your hat. Come on, just in fun. Uh, you have a long lifeline. That's exactly what I need. Oh, see this here? You'll meet a handsome young man, and you'll fall in love. You'd better be waiting right around the corner. And see that line there? That shows that you... Oh, step right in, folks. Step right in. That's good. Extra. Extra. Read all about the brutal slayer, Joe Cardos. Joe Cardos to die at dawn. Extra, extra. Three-time killer, Joe Cardos to die at dawn. Extra, extra, Joe Cardos to die at dawn. Extra, read all about the brutal girl slayer. Extra, extra, three times killer Joe Cardos to die at dawn. Read all about the brutal girl slayer. Extra, extra, read all about it. Extra, read all about the He's quite young, 31. How do you think a guy like that feels? Let me read. How many did he kill? Three. Must be a maniac. All girls, huh? You let me read. I'll tell you all about it. He's got such a nice face. He looks like a boy. Are you kidding? Those baby faces are the most dangerous. It's a killer, all right. A beast. Monster. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sure, look at that jawline. I think I remember that trial. It's the way he made love to girls. He strangled them. Hey, it says here that he said he feels no regret. He refused a lawyer and a request for commutation of his death sentence. Your sister's here again for the third time. She wants to see you to say goodbye. I said no. I don't want to see nobody. Nobody, you hear? Be sensible. The girl is crying. You can't refuse her. She's your sister. I said no, and that's that. Leave me alone. How about the padre? He's also waiting for your word. He'll give you comfort. 
I don't need no comfort. I want to be left alone. Don't you feel the need to prepare yourself for the final hour? Look, Warden, don't worry about me. I'm prepared, so leave me alone. It's your last chance to make peace with your conscience. Don't give me that fancy talk. You make peace your way, I'll make peace my way, see? Have you any special wish, your favorite food, anything? Nothing. Just that stinking black coffee of yours and cigarettes, that's all. According to the law on your last night, you can have any wish granted. Yeah. I'd like to shave the public prosecutor. I'm glad you didn't lose your good humor, Joe. I'm glad you're glad. Goodbye. Did you ask him? What did he say? Did you tell him that... Of course I did. He's mad at the whole world. Shouts, refuses any sensible suggestion. Doesn't want to see anybody, doesn't want any food. He's as stubborn as a mule. Maybe if he'd see me, he'd talk to me. Just for a moment. I can't force him, my child. If he doesn't want to see you or the pottery, that's up to him. According to law, I have no right to... <coughs> oh, come, come, you can't go on like this. Eat something. Come on, come on drink some tea. And you stay here and wait. Perhaps he'll change his mind later on. I doubt it. Seems to me his mind's made up. Sounds cold, almost cruel. Well, he hasn't a decent word for anybody. The guards tell me he just shouts, and curses, throws himself around like a madman. I'm here over 17 years. I've seen a lot of tough guys walk to the gallows. The last day, they all usually soften up a bit. I remember you told me once that even the toughest convicts at the last moment break down and cry and call for their mothers. His mother died when he was a baby. I'm his stepsister. Oh, what a lucky guy. That tastes like ink. You dirty rats! Can't I get a decent cup of coffee? Fresh coffee, what do you want? The warden's wife made it herself. Yeah? Well, tell her to drink it. Oh, what's the difference? Good coffee, bad coffee. A few hours, it's all over. A whole lousy mess. Now he complains about the coffee. Let him complain, he's nuts. Raging like a maniac all day and all night. Nerves. He can't fool me. They all go to pieces in a different way. You should see the others. The whole house, dead silence. They don't talk, just sit there and brood. Funny thing, there's still some kind of respect for the majesty of death, as Padre calls it. Yeah. Turn on the radio, let's have some music. I feel a little sick myself. Nice tone. Must be quite expensive, huh? The portable, made in America. Anniversary present from my boy. That's nice. You must be proud of him, huh? I had good luck. He turned out all right. You never can tell, though. Every kid has all of the good things and all of the bad things in him. Depends on how it turns out. Maybe that Joe Cartos was a good kid, too. Here we go again, gentle Joe. Yes, what can I do for you? Give me the ward. Look, he's just resting a bit. Why don't you just take... I don't care if he's resting or snoring or... Tell him I want to talk to him. Go on, beat it! Go faster, you lazy cockroach. I haven't got as much time as you have. You wanted to see me, Joe? Yeah. I changed my mind. I don't want to be alone. I want company. That makes sense to me, Joe. Who do you want to see first? Your sister or the pottery? Are you kidding? I want to have fun. All right, whatever you wish. Do you uh, want to play cards with me? Be glad to stay as long as you wish. That'd be a lot of fun, wouldn't it, Warden? 
I said I want to have fun. I want a girl. Well, what's the matter? I want a girl to keep me company. Yeah, and some music. Two musicians will do. I hope the government can afford it. I want to have a party. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Wait a minute. You said it yourself just a little while ago. How did you put it? Oh, yeah. That according to the law, I've got the right to my last wish. Anything you said. Well, I, I mean that the law has its limits. And in my opinion, after all, you can't make a dance hall out of this place. But the law... Then the law stinks. The law is against me on one side. It should be forming the other, don't you think? You brought it up. You gave me this law. So go out and do justice to it. Well, what's the matter? Don't you know where to look for them? If you don't, I'll tell you a few places. Nothing doing, gentlemen. Some of the girls are superstitious and some are just plain scared. Scared of what? You can't blame them. After all, he is a strangler. One girl, more or less. What's the difference to such a guy? But there's nothing to it, lady. A girl will be protected. They'll be the guards and the musicians. I tell you, there's nothing to worry about. Look, what do you want me to do? If I were younger, I'd go myself. Oh, I'd love to be strangled by a professional. And as for musicians, why don't you try that little cafe down the street? Hey, what about that girl, Dora? You know, the one that used to work for you as a waitress. Oh. Yeah. Yes, we know a girl, gentlemen. She used to work here as a waitress. I met her just yesterday, or was it the day before? Anyway, she's in real rough shape. She really needs the money. She'd take any job, I know. Can you tell them where they'll find her? She lives in that corner house on Minerva Street. What's the address? It's next door to the funeral parlor. Oh, yes, I know where it is. What's her name? Dora. Dora Garver Garver. I don't know. But if you go by there, I'm sure they can tell you where she is. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Goodbye. Goodbye, boys. Come again when you can stay longer.
I admire your courage. You've got a lot of nerve to show up here, I must say. I'm sorry, I know. Always the same story. I try my best. I... Something's wrong with me. I must be sick or something. I'll try to get a job or... By tomorrow morning, I want this room clean and empty. You understand? Empty. I've got my responsibilities. The gas is shut off, and tomorrow morning they turn off the electricity. It's open. What do you want? Are you Dora... What is it? Uh, Garber, I think. I'm Dora, all right, but my name is Garbin. That's all right. It must be you. How do you know Garber isn't Garbin? Did you ever work for... What's her name? Uh, Cabot. Mrs. Cabot, I think. No. Oh, I work for Mrs. Carbine. Maybe that's what you mean. But for that, I served time already. So what do you want? What is it? Well, it's quite a thing. Did you ever hear of Joe Cartos? No. You never heard of the killer, Joe Cartos? You mean the girl strangler? That's him. I heard some talk about him. Saw his picture on the front page just a little while ago. Would you like to make some quick money? You mean to keep him company? How'd you guess? It's easy to guess. After all, I'm not in the insurance business. What else would you need me for? He wants to have some fun. Music, dancing, you know, to kill time. Before time kills him. It's a good idea. Well, how about it? 200 scoldies, like that. Just enough for a decent funeral. Huh? Nothing. How come you picked me? There are a lot of cute girls around. Yeah, we know. The trouble is, they're either superstitious or scared. Scared? Of what? Well, he's a killer. And they're afraid that he might... Might strangle them? What's your answer? We haven't got much time. All right. Gee, I'll have to change clothes. I'm soaking wet. What happened to you? I took a bath with my clothes on. Well, let's go. I haven't a thing to wear. This is all I have. I used it in a show. Is it all right? Yeah, that's all right. But maybe he won't like me. The law says we must fulfill his last wish, but it doesn't say anything about running a beauty contest for him. The first time the law's on my side. I'll be right with you, boys. <laughs> Thank you. 
What are you looking for? It's all right. Is that the best they could do? If you don't like me, I can go. I don't mind. I'm used to it. Used to what? Everything. I know I don't look too good. I got this from a soldier. It's too big for me. My figure isn't bad. You want to see me before I go? You're the boss, whatever you say. Smoke? Yeah. Thanks. Sit down. So you want me to stay? What's the difference? Just for laughs. Go ahead, have a good laugh. I don't care. <coughs> Gee, they're strong. What is this? They may be hungry. You want something to eat? Well, just say so. Everything's on the house. As you said before, I'm the boss, see? You're quite cheerful, considering... Considering what? Oh, I'm not cheerful. Just spit on everything. Spit, spit. Understand? Spit! So do I, so let's spit together. Hey! What kind of service is this? Say, cut it out, will you? Shut up. Tonight I'm the boss, do you hear? All right, boss. What do you want? Say, is this the only wish I was granted? Anything you want. Just name it. I've orders to please you. See? What's your favorite dish? Come on, you're my guest. Have a good time. Something warm. Anything. Well, say what? Take the best. Never mind the price. I can afford it. Well, let me see. Hot cabbage soup, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Make it two. What else? Oh, that'll be all. I've got a weak stomach. I haven't eaten for days. How about a nice juicy steak? No, I couldn't, really. Something sweet? Pie, yeah. Y you like pie? I'm afraid it would make me sick. The soup will be fine. Well, you heard what the lady said. Now beat it, Julius, and make it fast. The night's short. Yeah, yeah, and where are the musicians? I don't know. Maybe they're on their way. I really don't know. Yeah, I'll bet. Cheapskates. Government would probably collapse. Hey, you! Some fresh, decent coffee! Out that makes the lousiest coffee you ever tasted. I know I've been around. It's my fifth pen, rat hole. Look at those walls. Over 300 years old. Should have burned it down long ago. Humanity. Looks horrible. Where are the other guys? Up there. This is reserved for the guy who goes. Can I have a sip of coffee? I don't mind what it tastes like, just to warm up a bit. It's poison, I'm telling you. Hey, you should taste my coffee. I used to be known to make the best job in the whole neighborhood. Three times boiled over and let it settle. And once more boiled over. Keep you awake 24 hours. Let me see. I got about five hours left. That makes me stay awake 19 hours after they hang me. <laughs> oh, you are a solid puss. I know I'm not much fun. If you want me to go, I... No, oh, shut up. Always repeating the same. If I want you to go, I'll tell you so. I'm 
got much of a choice anyway. I guess you were the only volunteer. Probably. The cops said the other girls were scared. I mean, to take the job. How about you? You're not? What? Scared. Why should I be? To me, you look like anybody else. I've seen all kinds of guys. They're all nuts. You're not scared of me? Didn't you read about me? I'm a little bit behind in my reading. I had more important things on my mind. You mean you don't know nothing about Joe Cardos? Sorry to disappoint you, Joe. Oh, I saw your picture on the front page a little while ago and heard some nasty remarks about you, that's all. What'd they say? Don't ask me to repeat it. Just some dames, bluesies. You know how they talk. What'd they say? Well, if you insist that you're a beast, a monster. One dame said... Well, come on, what'd she say? That that's how you make love. By strangling your girls. Idiots. How come you're not scared? What if I... Go ahead, I don't mind. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Try. Just try. I won't scream for help. Don't you care to live? You want to be a nice guy? Take me with you. What difference does it make to you? They can only hang you once. What did you do that for? I don't like you. So what? I'm not crazy about you either. Is that why you came here? Because you don't care to live? How much will they pay you? Just enough for a decent funeral. What? What kind of a crack is that? It's no crack. See, my hair's still wet. I... I tried to... You, you mean they pulled you right out of the river? <laughs> what a catch. If they knew anything about fishing, they'd throw you right back. Thanks. You must be fed up with life if you take this kind of a job. I told you why I took it. And I'll go through with it, too. You can be sure of that. Right after you. So maybe we'll be down there after all, huh? Maybe. Who knows? Hey. Maybe we go steady together, huh? <laughs> oh, you look like a dead fish. That's what I am. Say, how old are you? Twenty-five, believe it or not. But I feel like a hundred. Hey, that was fast. Smells good. I'll go to bed. My eyes are tired. Why don't you lie down, little girl? I'm sure he won't change his mind anymore. I'd like to stay up, if you don't mind. I'd like to wait to the end. Maybe at the last moment he'll need somebody. I can wait out in the hall. That was good. Fill me up. How about you? Lots of onions. Yeah. Now we'll smell like the devil. Cigarette? No, I don't think I should. It chokes me right here. You're too strong. 
That's all we got. Or maybe I should. To kill the onion smell. Don't worry about that. By tomorrow, it's gone. <laughs> You've got a funny kind of humor. Humor's supposed to be funny, isn't it? You know what I think? I think you say all of these things just because you... What? Because what? I don't want to make you angry. It just strikes me funny when a guy says all of these things right on the, the doorstep to eternity. Where'd you dig up this kind of talk? Oh, I... I read poems. What? Poems. It's beautiful words put together so that they do something to you. It's like a nicer world, like music or religion or... Is that what cabbage soup does to you? Wait, I have one. I'd like to read it to you. I have them cut out here. Here they are. No, that's not it. That's a nice one, too, but that's... Yeah, this is the one. I'm not very good at reading this, but... Pardon me. By the streams let me rest in the land I love best, in the land where the willow trees weep. I have planted a part of my peace-loving heart in the hills, and there I would sleep. Oh, uh, what? Shh! With the song in the air and the heavens so fair, let me there in my memory be. I don't get you. You must be nuts. Where'd you dig it up? What do you read it for? Oh, I cut it out of old newspapers and magazines. But what for? It keeps me going, sort of. You see, some people have to hold on to the bottle, some to stargazing. Well, this is my stuff. Beautiful words. It's like a nicer world. Yeah. You just said that that stuff keeps you going. Where to? You just tried to finish yourself off, and, and you say you'll go through with it right after me. That's true. But maybe it's because I haven't got anybody to share it with. You see, you need somebody. When you eat something good, it's, it's much better when you can say, isn't it good? Or when you're in a movie and watch a tender love scene. You want to squeeze somebody's hand. Oh, I got tired of reading all these beautiful things to myself. Let me read you some more, please. Oh, cut it out, will you? What a screwy dame. Looks like a drowned saint and comes here to read me poems. Well, there's still time to get another girl. I don't want to spoil your last evening. So I'll never forgive you. Say, why don't you... Make up your lips or comb your hair or something. You think it'll help? Well, let's see. Gee, I don't know. It's still wet. Well, I'll try my best to lift up your morale. <laughs> hey, hey, you got humor too. But you make the same sour face, even at your own jokes. I can't help it. Even if something strikes me funny, I can't laugh. Well, what do you mean, you can't laugh? Just what I said. I don't remember that I ever did. Well, that's a lot of nonsense. I never heard nothing like that. Honest. I must be a freak or something. They could put me in a sideshow or a circus, and they could make cracks tickle me, and I'd never laugh. I'm not joking. It's, how shall I say... I don't remember the word, but some people don't have enough uh, red carpuscles, and some don't have enough vitamins, so I don't have... You're trying to make fun of me? Well, why should I make fun of you? And what kind of fun would that be anyway? This thing loused up my whole life. When I was a kid, the other kids didn't want to play with me because I was always sad and never smiled. Later on, I lost jobs and boyfriends. Yeah. People want to see a smiling face, no matter how crooked the smile is. You know, I used to stand in front of the mirror for hours to try to learn how to smile. See, it's frozen. Gee, 
I can make a grimace, something like a, a smile, but it doesn't reach the eyes. Isn't that funny? It's the queerest thing I ever heard. It's like that story about the sad princess. Her father promised his kingdom and his daughter's hand in marriage to the guy who could make her laugh. Yeah, I remember something about that. Hey, you could play the lead in it. I sure could. Say, I'll bet you I can make you laugh. Go ahead, try it. Maybe you can win the king's daughter's hand in marriage. Well, but you don't care anyway, so what's the use? Yeah, what's the use? Blah, blah, blah. You look different. What'd you do to yourself? You like me better now? What do you care? You'll get your dough. So what's the difference to you? Every woman has ambitions. Come on, put your arms around me. Come on, come, get up. Let's dance. We don't need music, you can whistle. Don't let me go away from here with a lousy feeling that I'm not good enough even for a... Even for a criminal? For a guy that's going to hang in a couple of hours? Is that what you mean? I didn't say anything like that. No, let me alone. I don't want any charity. You're a funny guy. You order yourself a girl, a 
entertainer and you expect the real thing. Now, I guess I'm mixed up, too. What do you mean, too? I'm not mixed up. No. Ha! <laughs> I can see right through you, Joe. You want to laugh in the hangman's face, but it won't work. You want to play tough. There's something about you, something... You're like a little boy who wants to play big and strong and don't want to admit that he's shaking in his boots. Shut up! I didn't ask for a psychiatrist, I asked for a girl! Well? Oh, forget it. Why did I put on all that war paint? You guys are a mystery to me. All my life. Honest. What kind of creature is a guy? They're all the same. I don't want to tell you my life story. Don't worry. It just comes to my mind that in all of these years, I could never figure out what all the fuss was about. Then I worked in a factory, and then I worked in a dime store. The same thing. Always the same. Then I was a waitress. Scandals, brawls, black eyes, broken bones. And then finally came the dance hall. That was the worst. What a jungle. Sailors, peddlers, crooks, drunks. They were all brutal, impatient, cruel. All in a hurry to get what they wanted if they had to kill for it. You know, you're the first guy who seems human to me, who has emotions different from the others? I mean it. I'm not trying to kid you. A guy who doesn't want me because he's not in the mood. Because I'm not his type. The others didn't care. The same hungry bunch of ruffians. Always ready to take what they could. Don't push me away. I don't know why, but... Somehow you seem all right to me. I know, guys, I can tell. You're not a killer. You're just a poor little boy who got into trouble. That's not a killer's hand. Maybe this hand killed because it had a desire to stroke, to be nice. Well, even a hand can be mixed up, you know. What the? What are you trying to do? Get out of here! I don't want to listen anymore to your nonsense! Go on, get going! Shall I ring or shall I call? You don't want me to go, Joe. You just don't like what I say, even if you know it's true. Look, Joe, we're both in the same boat. At the end of the road, with no tomorrow, no future. We've got no reason to pretend to each other or to lie to each other. We can't even say, what will you think of me? Because what's the difference? Come on, Joe, relax. Be a nice guy and tell me about yourself. I didn't read the papers, so I know nothing about you. How did you get into trouble? What do you care? What's it to you? Leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. They said something that you choked your girls to death. That's a lie. It all started with one guy, that rat. Oh, if I could, I'd kill him again. What did he do to you? He 
was my best pal, my friend. Always patting me on the back, making me feel good so he could drag me into his dirty deals. Made you a sucker, huh? You said it. What a sucker. What an idiot I was. What did he do? Dragged me in on all his dirty deals. When they busted and he was in a jam. He was so sorry. So innocent. Four times I took the rap for him. Kept my mouth shut. Lousy double crosser. Looked like a shabby Romeo. Had a touch of TV. And I had to protect him, the poor fish. Had to get in all the fights, take all the beatings. Because he was so poor and helpless. Rat. Paola. His name was Paul, but he called himself Paola. He sure was smart. Knew all the angles. Knew how to handle me. I always felt for his little tricks. And one day, he took me backstage at a burlesque theater and introduced me to a girl. Annie, they called her. Big. Everything in the right places. Gee, what a dame. I flipped, I must say. He knew it, the rat. And when he was sure I was hooked, he, he started talking a big deal. Hold up, you know. I was to do it. He would just supervise the whole thing and wait in a safe place for his dough. I, I didn't want to do it. I, I'd done a lot of jobs before. I'd had a lot of fun with Annie. And I didn't want to lose her and go to jail. So we had fights. That's where Annie came in. Gee, she sure helped push him. Big blue eyes get bigger and bluer. She started her sweet songs about going over the border together. Having a lot of fun. Buying a nice little joint. Horse races, gambling, smart sports car. She sure sounded good when she talked. So she talked you into it? Ain't you a smart girl? How'd you guess? Go on, Joe. What the heck are you, a news reporter or my confessor? Just a friend, Joe. And if you don't believe me, then just a curious woman. Go on. So what do you want to know? That we lost it up? That we figured everything wrong? By accident, I shot a guy? And I was behind bars waiting trial for robbery and murder. So what else do you want to know? The Paola left me in the cold as always. And then Annie kept her big, beautiful mouth shut. And I had no accomplices. I was on the job all by myself. So nobody came to see you? My sis, Clara. Poor kid. Hated to look in her eyes. She came every day. Begged me to tell everything. Make the others pay, too. Maybe help myself a little. But I was stubborn. So one day she brought me the news that my girl and Paul are out having fun together. Well, I did it. There I was croaking behind bars and they're out having a big time. So red. Couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. I wanted to see with my own eyes how they carried on. It was stronger than the prison walls. So one day I broke out. Yeah, and I saw with my own eyes what I wanted to see. I had no gun, no knife, just my two bare hands. I waited until she left his swank apartment. I had a final talk with him. <laughs> Gee, was he scared, trembling, pleading. 
almost funny. And I caught up with her in her hotel room. All of a sudden, she, she looked like a snake or a lizard or something. She kept lying right up to her last breath. So how do you like it? Nice. Are you sorry? Sorry? For what? For whom? I'm never sorry for nothing. Not even for your life? No, not a bit. I don't believe you. You sorry for yours? Sure I am. I'm not ashamed to say so. I'm sorry for everything that went wrong. I cried my eyes out. Yeah, I never cried. Never in my life. Never, I tell you. Not even when I was a kid. My father chained me to his iron bed and beat me like a dog. I never cried, never. How about your mother? I didn't know my mother. I was two years old when she died. You know, a little while ago when you told me how it all happened, I mean the whole mess, I think I saw something in your eyes. Something, how was it in that poem? Oh, don't give me that. You and your crazy poems. I'm telling you, I was a kid 13. A gang at Gregory Mills beat me up, cut my hair, threw me in the river. But I never cried. Never. That's a lot of nonsense. Everybody cries. Every normal human being. So why do you want me to believe that... You said you never smile. So I never cried. There you are. You were sad and never learned to smile. I was stubborn. Just because they wanted me to cry, I wouldn't. I'm never sorry and I never cry. That's bad, Joe. Crying's good for you. It gives you relief. I like to cry. It helps me a lot. Why don't you try it? Are you out of your mind? Do you want me to cry when they put the noose around my neck? Yeah, yeah, maybe if I say I'm sorry, they'll let me go home, huh? That's not the point, Joe. You don't cry for the others. You cry for yourself. I always cry when I'm alone. I don't cry while I'm here, you can be sure of that, but... After I say goodbye to you and leave, I'm sure I'll cry. I'll cry very much. I don't get you. Why should you cry when you say goodbye to me? Why, why? Why do you have to ask why? I just feel that I will. What's the use of looking for reasons? Wait a minute. You said you'll cry after I go. I don't want nobody to feel sorry for me. Maybe I'll cry because I feel sorry for myself. Because I didn't have the good luck to meet a guy like you. I mean, before it was too late for both of us. Joe, I can see that you're ready to... C Cut it out. That's a lie. You're making up something, trying to mix me up. I told you, I never cry. All right, you said it already. Ten times at least. But maybe you're afraid of your real feelings. Why don't you try it? It'll do you good. Shut up, you crazy dame! What are you trying to do? I'm trying to help you. Help you, you fool. Don't you understand? But you're afraid that it might work. That's why you yell and scream and shout like a madman. That's why you play big and stormy. And maybe you're a coward. Shut up! Nobody will call me a coward, do you hear? Nobody, you cheap little... Say it. I'm not afraid to hear the truth about myself. But you are. You coward. Look up again. Don't feel ashamed. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Don't spoil it. Oh, I feel so near to you, Joe. Nearer than I've ever felt to anybody in my life. It isn't love. It can't be. It's something more. It's like... Oh, I can't think of the word. 
I can feel it, but I can't say it. Isn't that strange? Joe. Look at me. What is it, Joe? What are you staring at? You're smiling. Am I? Yeah, yeah. Can't you feel it? Oh, you look so beautiful when you smile. I, I almost can't believe it's you. Oh, I'd like to write a poem about the miracle of tears and a smile. And I'd like to have it printed in a newspaper with my name. And maybe some other lost little soul would cut it out and read it and cry. Oh, I like your hair and those stubborn eyes. Why didn't you shave? Isn't it strange that after all of this horror and dirt and confusion that I feel that you're the first man in my life? What is it, Joe? What are you thinking about? I had a dream last night. Such a strange dream. I walked to the gallows neck, put the noose around my neck, dropped the trap door. The rope broke and I, I fell to the ground. Then the prison bell started to ring, as if to claim a miracle had occurred. You see, the, the law says that when something like this happens, a convict's life must be spared. It's considered a sign of providence. Well, I, I guess providence can't be bothered to perform miracles for my sake. But when I woke up, I, I could still hear the prison bell ringing. Isn't this strange? I remember there was something in the paper about you, that you refused a request for commuting your death sentence. Why did you? I don't know. I hated the whole world. I hated myself. There was no reason. Now it's too late. Maybe not, Joe. Why don't you do something? Now, it's no use. The warden told me that the request has to be filed long before. It has to go to the highest court and the president. Now, oh, let's forget about it. By the way, what's your name, beautiful? It's about time you asked. Dora. 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 It's the only thing I like about myself. I think it's a pretty name. Dora. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Joe and Dora. Joe and Dora Cardos. Why did you say that? Dora Cardos, don't you like it? Sure. I think it's all right. That's your name now. Sure. And tomorrow you'll buy me a ring, and we'll go looking for a little place somewhere near the harbor. I like the smell of oily waters and the sound of steamboats. When were you born, Joe? February. What day? 19th. Aquarius. Wonderful. I'm Pisces. He said it's a lucky combination, Pisces and Aquarius. Oh, we'll be happy, you'll see. I'm sorry, Joe. I just wanted to forget for a little while. Ah, oh, that's all right. I understand. I'll think of you to the last minute, the last second. 
and I won't be scared. That I can promise you. I, uh, I want you to find my sister. Clara, you, you can tell her that... Hey, wait. I can hear music. Yeah, I can hear it too. Gee, I'd like to dance with you. How about it? Joe, I don't think we should. Why not? Well, it, it just isn't right at this late hour. You mean we'd wake the neighbors? Oh, stop that, Joe. I don't like it when you make fun of... What is it, boss? Any special wish? Yeah. Say, what's that music there, Julius? Oh, that's my portable. Plays nice, huh? I'm sorry if it's too loud. And stop calling me Julius. I'm Carlo. Well, uh... Look, Carlo, mind if I borrow it for a while? You mean... Uh, sure, why not? I'll be right back. I don't like it, Joe. I don't feel like dancing. I do. I don't believe you. You're just showing off. Well, so what? It's my night, and I'm the boss, see? I feel good. I feel great, believe it or not. And I want to hold my girl in my arms. You are my girl, aren't you? See, Dora, it's a funny thing. I'm not ashamed to tell you. I never felt about a girl like I feel about you. All I ever knew was floozies, gold diggers, malls, pickup girls. But you. Don't make fun of me, Joe. If I'm not a pickup girl, then who is? Oh, I know. You're as clean as a girl can be. You're an angel. So good, so kind, so human. Like a nurse. A beautiful nurse. Knows how to wash wounds and clean away all the bad scratches. I, I can't tell you how I feel about you. Uh, gee, I, I think I'm in love with you. I'll say it again. You're losing your smile, lady. <laughs> say it again. I think I've never heard it before. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Fall back tomorrow, my darling. My son, I took a chance and came a little ahead of time. Perhaps you've changed your mind. 
and would like to make peace with our Lord and... Joe Cartis, I must ask your friend to leave. Wait a minute, Warden. Padre, I know I refused to see you before. I'm sorry. But now, I, now I'm glad you've come. I'd like to ask you to marry us. Dora and me. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid I cannot do it. Why not? It's part of my last wish, Padre. Because it is against the regulations. It is against the law. Isn't there an exception to it? Not to my knowledge. Not even if you ask the governor for special permission? It is not the concern of the governor, my son. It is the law of the church. I'm sorry, but I must perform my duties. Would you now ask your friend to leave? Wait a minute, Warden. Padre, I... I'm sure you care very much to save a soul. To let me make peace with the Lord and myself. That's why I am here, my son. To help you. I ask you, humbly, don't let me go like this. Make us man and wife. Please, I beg of you. Well, if I am to do that, there are certain conditions that you must satisfy. I'm sure that the warden will permit me a few moments alone with you, too. Now that you have made your peace with God, we can proceed with the ceremony. Thanks, Padre. I'll tell him down there what a nice guy you are. Don't recommend me too highly. We shall proceed in a moment. I'm expecting two witnesses. Mrs. Gilliam, the warden's wife, and here they come. sister. You understand, of course, that the ceremony will be quite simple. Will you join hands, please? Do you, Joseph, take Dora for thy lawful wedded wife? I do. I will. Do you, Dora, take Joseph for thy lawful wedded husband? I do. I will. With this ring I thee wed, and I plight unto thee my fidelity. With this ring I thee wed, and I plight unto thee my fidelity, Joseph. I now pronounce you man and wife. smile. Joe Curtis, in the name of the law, I ask you now to follow me.
Be nice to her. She's a good girl. I love her. Prison bells. Prison bells. Oh, Joe's dream. Oh, Lord, make a miracle happen. Make it happen. Thank you. 